This is Chris Denny. The purpose of this video is to show you how to pull the background out of an image in Photoshop Elements. This is number seven. It's Photoshop Elements 7, but it works pretty much the same in all of the versions. So uh, we have some nice candied apple, candy apples here, and we want to pull out the white background and the kind of off-color stuff here. It, it picked up some pinkish and, and we want to put this say, on a website that doesn't have a background so we're gonna pull the background out. So we go to the magic eraser tool we choose that, right-click to make sure we have the magic eraser tool selected and now we come over to our image. A very important part of this is going to be the tolerance. The tolerance is how much of that color uh, range the tool is going to pick up. So for instance if we set it to 100 that's very strong. It's going to pick up everything that's even close to this off-white in this area. So it's probably going to make this stick disappear. So let's try it. There goes the stick. We don't want that to happen so we've got to decrease the tolerance but if you go with too, lo too low of a color tolerance, let's say 3, then it's going to leave some some edges probably. Yeah, it doesn't pick up enough. So we'll click on do. And for this, uh, probably 35 would be a nice tolerance to get the full area. Got most of the area. Let's do it again right there. Perfect. Okay, so that area is done. Let's go to this area over here. 35 should still work, but it looks like it got a little bit of that light on the stick. So let's decrease it to about 22 and there. Now it didn't really take off too much of that light on the stick up there and we can use that to pull this little area off the apple down here. Um, pull this out of here. 22 is still working for us. It might work here. It might be a bit strong for that area right there. So let's do this. Let's try a 12 it still pulled a little bit out but that piece isn't that important so uh, let's stick with 12 and get the bits and pieces here. There's still some little pieces in here but we can go back in and clean that up later with another bit with with an actual eraser. So I'm gonna I'm gonna strengthen the tolerance here and go up to uh, 35 for this area. Okay we've got most of it. it probably is gonna hurt the apple. Okay so let's decrease it to 12 again see how important the tolerance is? You use it constantly. But some people don't realize what that tolerance is for and they get very frustrated with this tool when it's actually one of the best tools in this software. So let's go to 25 for this little bit. Oops, too much. Uh, we'll go back and clean that up later with an eraser and to do that all you would do is this eraser, you can adjust the size of this eraser. Let's say I want to get into the little nooks and crannies, so I'm going to make it 12 pixels and I'm going to start big and light, put it right up in there and just and just clean up those edges just like that. And obviously you can make that a lot smaller to really get in there. Another thing you can do is enlarge the picture so that you can really see those edges and then to just clean up big areas just to make sure they're nice and nice and bright and shiny you can make this eraser really big so that's what I'm going to do here to make sure we get all those little bits and pieces that uh, the tool may not have picked up because we had to use such a a weak tolerance to get in there so there you go that's pretty much it I would clean up the edges a little bit more but but it's a we've pulled the background out and that's how you take the background out of a picture in Photoshop Elements. There are some other tools, but we'll get to those later.